I'm very pleased to be interviewing Jim Alexander, who's a research veteran. Uh, Jim, tell us a little bit about your background. I have been in this business for 20 plus years, having started out of grad school with Leo Burnett, the advertising agency, uh, working on media strategy. Uh, I taught their training courses for their uh, executive training program. And then I was recruited by Turner Broadcasting and moved to Atlanta and spent 10 years there um, having great fun with CNN and its growth and CNN.com and um, became director of research there and then uh, went to the Weather Channel where I became the head of research. What would you say were the most um, interesting parts of research from your perspective? Where do you think research can really uh, be used effectively? Well, research can be all about providing data and answering questions. What I really enjoy about research is the solutions and the insights. I'm a creative person and I just have this natural curiosity so when um, when I'm working with a business and I tend to work in matrix organizations where I'm involved in every facet whether it be finance or distribution um, and programming it's un when you understand the business that curiosity turns into questions and hypotheses which then leads to creation of a good research um, project and in the end drawing the conclusions and the insights that are that go beyond just giving data but actually result in recommendations that can be implemented um, and executed and you know I like to use a baseball analogy that you know if you're uh, in baseball and you bat 300 you are an all-star in research we may come up with lots of recommendations um, and uh, insights that are critical to the business but at the end of the day those decisions are made by executives with that responsibility and if one-third of the insights or recommendations that you're making are being adopted I'd say you're a research all-star. How would you say that research has changed since you first started? Well in a lot of ways uh, first the first uh, thing that comes to mind is research has evolved in terms of collection, data collection. You know, there are the challenges, of course, with um, people first getting uh, answering machines and not wanting to respond uh, to answering machines or even a knock at the door. Um, and now the advent of the Internet, of course, making it a lot more convenient to answer surveys whatever time, 24-7, that a, a consumer would like to answer it. The, the good thing, even though there's challenges, having been fortunate enough to work in the media space, is that people generally like to answer questions about television and other media. Um, they they do it for free without incentive. Uh, it seems it's a fun thing. 